Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn in the Discovery Update. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue progressing and having fun in update uh, in the Discovery Update. So uh, you guys have left me some really good comments. I really appreciate uh, doing that. The, this pod has seen better days. I should salvage a wreck and surrender to be with the survival to this part of the That's new. Interesting. I wonder why it's showing that to me right now, though, because we're way past the... The part of the thing, uh, part of the, you know, where we have to do that at the beginning. Um, let's actually look at our quest for a second. Salvage the crash. Huh. Okay. So, the, yeah, this has changed. It looks like this text is maybe a little bit larger than the last time I looked at it, too. Very interesting. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll actually end up doing that or not. We'll have to wait and see, you know, how things go with that. Anyway, uh, let's start off the episode by turning our bloom off. <laughs> uh, so let's resume that. Okay. So let's see. Let's do points first. So we're going to do F6, and we've got six stat points. So let's put one. Uh, no, let's put two into uh, into strength, one into health, one into st two into stamina. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, now, let's look at our skills. So we've got 37 combat, 99 engineering, and 51 science. I must have done a, like a lot of mining or something. It's been actually a couple of days because I got ahead of you guys, so I took a break for a few days uh, on the series here. And I've been doing other stuff. I've been playing some Satisfactory and really been enjoying that. Man, that game is addictive. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do this. So we want uh, salvage bonus 3 or craft faster. Yeah, we want salvage bonus 3 for sure. And craft at higher health. That's useful. I'd kind of like to get to these hover increases next, though. Uh, so we have to take craft faster. What's this do? Repair at higher durability. Oh, increase loot amount. Um, yeah, let's 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 focus on the hover stuff first. Oh, we got it. Okay, nice. We had enough points for that. Yeah, we do have a whole bunch of engineering points, don't we? This is repair at higher durability. I think the next thing. What is this again? Craft faster. I think the next thing I'd like is the, these loot uh, uh, amount thingamadoodles. Each one gives us 10% more loot. So, yeah, let's take those, that, and and we didn't quite have enough points for that, so we'll take that um, later. Okay. Um, if we turn our light off and stay crouched in here, he should he should bugger off. So our eyeball just turned white in the lower left-hand corner, so he just lost track of us. Okay, now let's take a look at science. So for science, we are working on solar output. And now the rest of this stuff, uh, this, is, this is the least most important right now because that's spacewalking, uh, increased spa spacewalk speed. Uh, but these are going to be related to uh, farming and... We're gonna we're gonna get we might we might even get that far today I kind of doubt it but we'll see um, so faster plant growth or increase yield I mean they're both gonna be good let's just go with the plant growth oh okay yeah and that spends all those points we'll do these two and then the final science points we will we'll, we will do here now I may have mentioned this to you guys already but the, you know in terms of the skills I, I really like this I, I like the idea but I like the way that it's being implemented. It needs to be balanced, though. But the other thing that it needs is it needs more. Because because th the thing is, is we're going to have all these points completely learned by mid-game and not by end-game. So i just like to see, you know, see it rebalanced. Maybe make things cost a little bit more or add more to it. So, you know, so it's still useful all the way into the end-game. All right. So, anyway, let's see. What do we got here? This is projectile damage. Uh, that's going to become important. Melee damage is still important. This is gun durability and weapon durability. All right, yeah, let's go. What's this? Increase melee damage? Yeah, let's just take that and get it done because we're still going to be doing some melee in. And then we're going to focus on projectile damage. And yeah, okay, so that's all we can do here. And then, of course, later on, we'll do this suit puncture thing too. Okay, so that takes care of our skills. We have a few points left, but we're going to have to sit on those points for the time being. All right. Now, what are we going to do in this episode? Um, specifically, I'm not sure. So we'll figure it out. 
<laughs> what were we working on? Like I said, it's been a couple days since I played last. Uh, do we got the upgrade? We, we need to do this upgrade here. And it's a battery that we needed for the upgrade. And we make the battery in the fabricator. And what about this? Did we upgrade this? Oh, this doesn't have upgrades. What about this? Yeah, we've already upgraded that too. The upgrades are really important to do. Uh, what about this? Okay, yeah, so that's fully upgraded. This is fully up. Well, we didn't actually put the the water thing on here. It, you know, very soon, guys, it, the water thing is going to be completely useless to us on here. You're going to see why. Um, so yeah, you're going to see why when that when that time comes. Okay, so I think our next priority is to make uh, the upgrade for this because once we do that, then we can make the bolt rifle ammo. Uh, yeah, the bolt rifle magazines. And then, you know, we're, we're going to be in good shape in terms of guns. We can start using the bolt rifle, you know, pretty much at our leisure and just start kicking the shit out of all these monsters that are such a pain in the butt. Um, so let's see. What's the first thing? Gunmetal. Oh, hold on. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I, I had something else selected that was showing some really advanced materials, so never mind. Okay, weapon fabricator upgrade. Talonite, circuit board, battery, and gunmetal. So the thing here is I think we have... Let's take a look in here. Yeah, we have gunmetal. Okay, so we got that part covered. Uh, do I have... I'm just trying to look and see if I have stuff. Oh, I do want to cover a couple things, uh, too. Uh, well, one thing in particular, you can actually separate items uh, one at a time. And so the way you do that is you click and dr and drag, and you got to keep the mouse button down, because if I let go of the mouse button, you know, it just snaps back in. So you left click, drag, hold the mouse button down, and then if you right click, look at that. You can put one at a time in. That is so friggin' useful. I didn't know that that's how that works. So I really super, super appreciate that comment um, to the point where I'm going to even give a shout out to the individual that made that comment. I have to find it here. Hold on a second. All right, guys. Um, so the individual that told me about the stacking is viewer DR. So DR shout out to you man thank you so much for letting me know that i've been wanting to know how to do that for a long time and um you know there's some some games you can you can click i think seven days to die might be this way you can click on it and then it you know it it keeps a hold of it and then you can right click stuff off and like arc for example you can hold the control key to get one piece off but the difference here is that you have to click and hold it and that's what was throwing me off um, but yeah, beautiful. That's going to come in so handy when I want to pick specific things instead of just having to take the whole batch or having to use the split option. So, um, very, very good information. Really appreciate that. Um, and several of you guys have left really good comments too. Um, there was one other one that I wanted to point out specifically. Uh, Michael Minch no, uh, mentioned that you can turn scrap into aluminum nuggets, which was something I wasn't aware of. Um, so that's a really good one. So thank you, Michael, for that. I'm just trying to see. I wasn't planning on doing this, guys. So if I miss you, uh, please don't take it personally. I'm not trying to, you know, to exclude anybody. But uh, uh, Stanley Clark mentioned to do the mechanized uh, spanner as soon as possible because it's even better in the range. Oh. That's the other thing. One of you guys mentioned to me that the makeshift screwdriver is faster than the original uh, multi-tool that they give you to start out. And I can't, I, I'm not seeing who said that right off the top of the bat, uh, of, the, of the bat here. Uh, wait, is that right there? Yeah. I'm not sure who told me that, but... Um, I'll see if I can figure that out and, and, and give you a shout out just with some text in the editing. And then Hi2 mentioned um, that NICR it, it stands for nickel chromium alloy. Um, he says, but the game requires nickel and carbon instead, which is weird. So, okay, so that's what that stands for. Appreciate that too. And, and everybody, again, you guys leaving comments, really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm doing this kind of as a tutorial, but, as, you know, obviously I can't know everything about the game either. So I really greatly appreciate it when you guys leave me comments and help me learn more about the game too. So we, it's kind of like a joint effort here and it's really awesome. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to the video here. So, um, I'm, 
a little out of sorts now. Let's look at something here really quick. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so you do it in the forge, right? So you can exchange one piece of scrap metal for one thing of aluminum. Really cool. I didn't know that. Um, let's do a little quick test here. And we're going to go ahead and make the uh, the makeshift screwdriver. So we need a crude pipe and three leather straps. Uh, do we have a crude pipe in here? No. You know what? Doggone it, Mr. Krabs. You're such a pain in the butt, man. We are on the verge of being able to make bolt rifle ammo, so we're just going to shoot you. Hold still. There, you dead. Okay. Uh, do I not have crude pipe? Okay, how do we make a crude pipe? Or what do we need, rather, to make one? Oh, we just need scrap metal. Okay. Let's grab that. Somebody else was mentioning in the comments that you wish that we could to could actually label these so we know what's in there. I agree with you 110%. <laughs> I really wish we could do that, too, but unfortunately you can't. Uh, so let's do a crude pipe. Oh, we need a leather, too, right? Okay, so leather is going to be in here. Where is the leather? There it is. I my inventory is so jacked up right now. We we've got to um, we got to make the the indoor stuff, which is going to give us a lot more storage slots. Okay, let's make some leather straps, and now we can do the makeshift screwdriver. So we're just going to test this out, just you know, by way of demonstration, so people can see that the makeshift screwdriver is actually a little bit better than the starter tool. Now I tested this in experimental in an early experimental release and i it didn't seem like there was any difference to me but you know there's been a few more experimental updates and now, now the actual release update since then so um you know that could have changed hopefully i saved one of the original things yeah i did okay so let's see we got to find something to salvage i've already salvaged everything around here um Another Mr. Krabs. Oh, we one-shot that guy. You can see why I want to get the ammo for the boat rifle. <laughs> it is, like, super powerful. I love it, man. The assault rifle is pretty good, too. Um, I'm just trying to think if we have something nearby that we can actually salvage just to test these. I don't want to salvage the, the containers because we get fat loots out of that stuff. I think there's some stuff up on the hill. They still need to fix the animation on this. It's a little jacked up. Oh, you. All right. I think I'm going to go back to third-person melee because it's still easier than first-person. I think I already demonstrated that to you in an earlier episode, but yeah, I was thinking about that. And you're glitched. Too bad for you, man. Okay. Anyway, what are we doing? We're looking for... Whoa. That was weird. We are looking for something to salvage. I don't want to salvage. No, actually, hold on. We do have to salvage some of this. We don't want to salvage all of it. We have to salvage some of it. The thing is, is for this test to be accurate, we have to make sure we are salvaging the exact same thing. All right. So let's put the original or the, the starter tool there and the uh, makeshift there. Okay. So we have to salvage... We don't want it to say dismantle. Okay, so we have one wrecked rover axle there and one there. So these are the exact same thing. All right, so let's use the original multi-tool first. Here we go. Okay, so that took um, eight little whirs of the thingamadoodle. Now let's try the makeshift screwdriver. Oh, yeah, absolutely twice as fast. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, again, huge thank you to the individual that left me that um, that comment. Again, I'll see if I can figure out who that was and give you credit uh, in the actual editing itself. All right, while we're here, we might as well um, use the... Oh, you know what we could do? That's dismantle. There's something else that said salvage over here. Where did it go? Begin repairs. Okay, okay, there's a rover. No, we want to keep the rover strut there. Uh, all right. 
here no that's also dismantle okay never mind anyway at some point i want to uh, we'll make the spanner and we'll compare that to the wrench because the spanner is supposed to be even better than the wrench but yeah guys they changed that because i tested this um like i said in an early experimental version and i could tell no difference between the screwdriver at the time and the salvage tool that we had at that time um which was at that time it's actually like a little welder thing um they were both terrible <laughs> so it didn't even occur to me to tell you to make this but yeah definitely make this as soon as you can because it's going to be twice as fast as the starter tool so again just another great example of you guys helping me to learn as i'm helping you to learn so very good very good all right let's put um let's put this away and since i don't have any room for this i think we're just gonna drop it there's no reason under the gleazy sun in this case wherever the hell it's at <laughs> that we need to keep that i just don't think we do all right we uh need some nutrition so let's go into here and uh, we're going to eat some apples Vital stabilized. because I don't actually have a lot of meat. I really need, I, I said I off, I think I told you guys last episode off camera I was going to go hunting. Well, I never got around to doing that. So, you know, food is definitely becoming an issue, but we're going to fix that as soon as we can, you know, get our hydro, uh, not our hydro, our, bi uh, our bio dome going. Man, mouth work. Okay, let's get back to this. So, we want to do our upgrade. So, we need, uh, the big thing we need is the battery. Well, when I say big thing, it, that means we need to make it here in the fabricator. So, let's go in here and take a look and see what we need to make a battery. So, we need two power cells, plastic and an electrum. Okay. Uh, we already have, wait, we already have the plastic with us. Yeah, is that enough, though? I didn't actually look at the quantity. I think it is. All right, so we need to make another power cell. And for that, we need lithium and silver. Oh, Lord, do I have enough? Do I have lithium? I can't even remember if I have lithium. Aluminum, silver. We got silver there. Dog, con it. We don't have any lithium. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to go. Oh man, I was supposed to go mine lithium off camera. I remember that now. Remember, it's been a couple days. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay. Well, here. Look, can we make the talonite? We need cobalt and chromium for that. Let's make the other stuff first. Make sure we can, and then I'm gonna have to just go out and you know get some lithium. That's all there is to it. I mean, we need it anyways, right? So there is chromium. There's cobalt. <laughs> Okay, so we got the tal <coughs> excuse me, the talonite. While we're here, let's go ahead and repair this and this and this and this. It's free. We might as well, right? Okay, so we got the chromium. Oh, we need an, an electrum. So that needs copper and gold and molybdenum. Okay, so there's gold. There's molybdenum and copper. We should have copper. Yeah, there's copper. All right, so we should have everything except for this the stuff we need to make another battery. No, I'm sorry. We should have everything to make a battery except for the other power cell. Did I not? Oh, I made the electron, but I didn't pull it out. Silly me. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the camera here, and I'm going to go grab some lithium, and then I will meet you back here. And then we will proceed. So don't go away. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and I picked up uh, two two full stacks, and then a little bit more of lithium. So let's go back in to here now. And oh no, we need to make first of all we need to make another power cell, right? 
Let's take a look. Do we have one power cell already? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go to the forge and make another power cell. And then I think we have everything else. I never actually emptied my inventory before I took off, which I should have done, but... <laughs> Uh, we should have everything, everything now to make the battery. So let's look at this one more time. Um, oh, we need to make a circuit board too. Okay, let's make the battery first. One other thing I want to mention to you guys too is that, um, you know, we, we're going to do, take an episode here as, as soon as we get our base set up and we're good to go there. We're going to, we're going to do a, a discovery episode because there's a lot of new things in the game that you can discover, uh, you know, use different tools on different plants to get different materials we're, we're gonna dedicate an episode to that so that is coming up um i just you know i, I want to get the base set up first okay that's pretty much what it boils down to but one thing i will a little tip i will give you that i didn't really cover um in the very early episodes because i didn't really realize it myself is that almost every plant is edible um and one of you guys even pointed out like for example the blue leaf uh le blue leaf plants you know that kind of looks like a blue feather even that's edible. So, you know, if you go around and you just harvest plants, just about all of them can be eaten. Now, some of them can also take away a little bit of health, so you'd have to watch that. But um, we'll look at those things specifically, what does what and, you know, where you get it in that uh, discovery episode that we'll do here in a little while. Um, well, not today, but, you know, it's coming up is what I'm trying to say. Now, we should have everything to do the upgrade for this. Oh, we still have to do the circuit board. Okay, do I have a circuit board already made? I do don't so to make a circuit board uh we need uh do we have everything we need to to do it in here we need one wire okay so we're gonna have we don't have enough broken wire to make oh yeah we do wait is that the same chest it isn't okay i didn't think so But we should be able to make a wire in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Now we should be able to make the circuit board because we have, you know, broken circuit boards. The other option is you can you can make these from scratch in the fabricator too, but of course it's more expensive uh, to do that. I think we're ready, you guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's crap the upgrade here. We need to get our... I'm going to forever be pressing tab in this game because every other game uses tab for the inventory. Uh, let's do our upgrade. Weapon fabrication upgrade. Oh, man. Woot. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So now we can make the bolt rifle. But we don't need to make one, but we could. More importantly, we can make the bolt rifle magazine. Um, you can also make the heavy assault rifle in here. However, uh, you need zirconium to do that, which we won't be able to get till we go off planet uh, or off moon. Um, likewise, you can, I don't know if I pointed this out to you or not, we can make the assault rifle here, but here again, we need zirconium before we can actually make it. So that's uh, coming up, unless we happen to luck out and actually find one, in which case we could also make the assault rifle magazine too. So let's go in here and take a look. What do we need for bolt rifle magazine? We need aluminum and steel. All right, so let's make some steel. We're going to need carbon and iron for that. Mr. Krabs, we are about ready yeah, we better just melee you. Where'd you go? So the thing is, is, you know, melee in third person is more effective, but third person itself is kind of a pain in the butt. Only because I'm a first person kind of guy. So I'm not used to third person. So that's more like the difference, guys, between a... Wait, did we get all those already? I don't remember harvesting those. Difference between a mouse and keyboard gamer and a controller gamer. <laughs> we just had that conversation on one of the... Uh, somebody commented on that on one of my games. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, a few days ago, so we were talking about that. I am definitely in the keyboard and mouse camp. You put a controller in my hand on a first-person shooter game, and I'm going to lose. That's all there is to it. In fact, the last time... Well, there is one exception to that rule, and that is if it's any kind of a driving or even flying game, then I actually am better with a controller. Um, but if it's first-person shooter type of game, yeah, not so much. Uh, another game that I actually did use the controller on was uh, Dark Souls. So 
Dark Souls, it just, the controller is just better for, you know, all the movements and stuff that you need to make. All right, forget that guy. He's wasting our time. He's wasting our time. So, let's see. We said we needed carbon and iron. There we go. It looks like I'm going to have to go out and get some more iron. The nice thing about iron is it's really close to the base, though. It's just all around us. Uh, just kind of over that way, so. Okay, so how much steel can I make? Eh, I don't know. Let's queue up, say, 10 of those. And then what was the other thing it said we needed? Oh, and aluminum. Yeah, we got tons of aluminum. Right there. Okay. All right, and then we are just going to make as many bolt rifles, magazines as we can. So t that's a total of 10. And that way, like I said, then we can start using the bolt rifle on a regular basis. Don't have to worry about conserving ammo and um, kick the crap out of these monsters that are so doggone irritating. All right, you guys, so that takes care of the upgrade. That was a big goal that I wanted to accomplish, and we got that done. The next thing we need to do is we need to get our appliances set up here in our habitat. So we got the most important appliance, the fabricator, but we need to get some other things going too. And we need to get some storage going. That's even even more important. So let's kind of figure something out here. I always like to put the water reclaimer. Let's look at that. F2 appliances water reclaimer. I like to put that right by the door. Now here's the thing about the water reclaimer. What makes it so doggone useful is that it will pull condensation from the air and over time make water. But, and it, it'll make like about three liquid tanks. I'm talking about the big liquid tanks, uh, which we got to set those up too. Uh, so much stuff to do. <laughs> um, like three large liquid tanks of water this thing will store. You can drink directly from it or you can fill up containers from it. And that's why I say I'm not even bothering doing the water um, add-on to the furnace because we just don't need it. Um, that coupled with the fact that you know, we, we loot water all the time, A, and B, we took the skills in the skill trees so we don't have to drink all the, all that often. Um, so the water water reclaimer we want, we definitely want a bunch of storage lockers. The oxygenator we're not going to build on Proteus because we don't need to, but we will, you know, we will build, probably almost certainly build a space station, and we might even build like an outpost on the moons later on, in which case we will want the oxygenator for those, but we don't need it here on Proteus. Uh, we definitely want the kitchen. We can make better food with that. And we want the chemistry table uh, at some point. This isn't super important right now, uh, but it is something we want. So our priorities are the the kitchen and the water reclaimer, the climate controller. I didn't talk about that. We need a climate controller for the biodome. So this is a prerequisite to the biodome. And we want um, and a bunch of storage lockers. Don't bother making these crates. Um, they don't have very much storage space. Just make the storage locker. And these are not that expensive. In fact, they're they're really doggone cheap, to be honest with you. Only two steel and one rubber. Super, super cheap, in fact. And uh, this has a lot of storage. I think it has something like 48 slots or something in it, so it's really good. All right, now, so um, what I want to do is I want to kind of think about the layout of things in here. We're going to put the we're going to put the water reclaimer right here, and we'll probably put the kitchen right here, and we'll probably put the Kim table here and we'll put the um, the climate control thing here because we're either going to go that way or that way for our biodome. So that means then <coughs> that we that opens up all these other spaces for storage. So let's go back outside and make some more steel. We'll just make another 10 of these for the moment. And we're going to put some storage in there so I can actually get a handle on my very messy, um, unorganized inventory. I was thinking about making some more of the small crates, but there's there's no reason to now because now we can make much better storage inside the habitat. I'm going to keep all of this out here anyway, at least for the time being. Um, because... Oh, we didn't actually get the ammo out of here. Okay, so yeah, that ought to last us for a while. 
Uh, I'm going to keep all this out here for the time being, at least until we get an electro dome up, just because it's still going to be useful to store some things in, you know? Right, you guys are dead. But now we can make, you know, make the good storage. Yeah, you only get three shots per magazine. That's the downside to this gun, but it is so powerful that, you know, it's definitely worth it. Let's get our wrench out. Okay, so water reclaimer there, kitchen there, Kim bench there. That leaves this available for storage. Let's hit uh, F2, go to appliances, storage locker, and build that there. Okay, and so we're leaving that open for water. We're leaving these two open so that we can do a storage thing here. We can do, we can basically fill these three walls up with storage. Now, if this was, again, if this was on a non-breathable atmosphere planet, well, technically Proteus is too, but our suit takes care of that. We would probably put the oxygen um, thingamadoodle there, but we don't need it here on Proteus. So we're going to fill all three of these up with storage. We're saving that for the climate control. Okay, so if we open this up, you can see that we have a lot more storage spaces than we do in the little chest outside. So this is going to be great. Let us uh, let me count this to see if they change it. So we got four, five. Oh, hold on. A uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight times six is 48. Yeah, okay, so we have 48 slots in here. Really good. So I'll, I'll man get my all of my inventory and stuff managed off, off camera later. Uh, so the next thing we want to do in here is we want to let's go ahead and make the water reclaimer next um, Well, actually, I, I think I might want the well We need to make both kitchen and water reclaimer Maybe the kitchen's actually more important to us because we're water is not an issue for us um, So we need to make some more power cells. Let's make a couple more of those. I Think that's all it said. Oh, and we needed some wire too for the kitchen uh, So I don't know. Let's just queue up like five of those See, the kitchen's going to be good because then we're going to be able to start making better food. Here, let's just grab those. Put the light on so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so we said we'd put the kitchen here. Water reclaimer there. No, kitchen here. Chem chemistry table thing there. Okay, so let's go here. Appliances and kitchen. Oh, no, wait. We still need... We need two ferrochrome. That I think we make in here. Nope. We make those in the furnace. Okay, let's queue up a couple of those. Yeah, we're super low on iron now. So that's another off-camera thing that I'm going to have to do is go mine some iron. Excellent. We have ourselves a kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, what we want to do is go in here. So we can make baked potatoes, steamed carrots, and cooked or sacred crab eggs, which I've never come across those, so I don't think that's implemented yet. Steamed carrots isn't bad because, you know, you get you get both food and uh, quench bonus uh, and health so and it's very cheap because there's only one carrot so once you start growing carrots you can make a bunch of this and it's just cheap and easy food but what we want to do is we want to upgrade the station to get to the good stuff so if we look at the upgrades we're going to need steel brass ferrochrome and nickel chromium okay so let's do that right now it's, it's worth doing as soon as you can all right now we have everything we need chef upgrade coming up 
And when you do that, it adds some new utensils, you know, to the kitchen too, which is really cool. Now what we can do is make the good stuff. So meat stew is a really good one to start off with uh, because it gives you 15 health, 40 nutrition, and 35 quench. But this is also a prerequisite uh, to crab stew, which we'll make once we get crops going. And this is really good food. Look, it's got a 200 nutrition bonus. Super good, plus 125 quench. I mean, this is the bomb. This food is so good right here. Uh, spicy gumbo sausage we can't make because we don't know where the eggs are. Maybe you know, maybe we'll find those on the other moons. I don't know. I, I've never come across those in, uh, you know, in the in what we'll call uh, Osiris New Dawn 2021. And then you also have um, blood sausage too, which isn't too bad. Um, it requires organs and blood, which we'll probably get when we use you know different tools to harvest animals and stuff like that. So, uh, but this is this is the ultimate food here um, that we're going to go for once we get our crops going. Okay, so meat stew, we can make that right now. Um, we can make two of those, so we, we might as well, right? And this is, <coughs> excuse me, another reason why I need to go out and do a bunch of farming. Now, you don't want to get rid of your furnace once you have this because, well, you don't want to get rid of it anyways because you, you can only make certain types of ores in there. But uh, also, you, you can't cook grilled meat in here, uh, which doesn't make sense. You'd think you'd be able to do everything in here, but you can't. So you still need the furnace to cook your grilled meat. But yeah, this food is amazing, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and eat right now. Vital stabilized. And we're going to, um, yeah, let's just eat both of them. There we go. And that pretty much filled our meters for both hydration and nutrition all the way up. Now, um, I think the water filtration thing's the next thing I want to make. Let's see what we need to do that. So water reclaimer, I should say. So we're going to need a computer screen. Mercury and a circuit board. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so we're going to have to make two circuit boards because we need one for the computer screen and one, <clears throat> excuse me, one straight up. We're going to do that fabricator. Uh, so that means we're going to need plastic, electrum, demalloy, and power cell. Uh, so we should be fine on the plastic. So I need basically two of each of those two demalloys, two electrums, two power cells. Okay, so now we can make two circuit boards. And then uh, when that's done, what else did we need for this thing? Appliances, water reclaimer. Uh, oh, we just have to make the computer screen, and then we'll be good to go. So we need to grab a broken LCD screen, and then we make that in the workbench. We need to make this guy, too. Um, we just need to make a battery for it. Here comes some meteorites. And we want to put this right here. Excellent. Okay, here's the water reclaimers. Notice it contains uh, or can contain up to 5,000 units. And again, I can drink directly from it or um, I can fill water containers from it. So, yeah, this is why you just want to get to this, guys, uh, and don't even bother making the water thing on the furnace. It's just not worth it. The other three upgrades on the furnace you do want to do, but I wouldn't bother with the water one. All right, so it's getting time for us to wrap up this episode. So I'm going to work on, off camera, I'm going to work on getting the uh, climate controller. So if you look at the bottom of my screen, you can see what that will require, and I should have all that stuff right now. I do need to go mine some iron, though, so I'll do that off camera. The other thing I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to, uh, we'll probably make the Kim bench. So here is, uh, here's what we need for that. So you can see again down below uh, the ingredients. So we'll get that made so it, so it's done. And then I'm going to get my inventory managed uh, or, or sorted out and managed, you know, with all this wonderful new storage that we have. So I'm going to do all that stuff off camera. And then when I'm done with all that, uh, we need to decide or I need to decide which one of these habitats we want to uh or i mean which one of these um no 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 no. i don't want to destroy i want to remove the cap uh we want to use i i wanted to, to use this one but the problem is you know we got this little bit of this stone and i don't know if that's going to prevent us from putting down a uh a crop plot thing see the problem is, is i can't make these uh, those bins, right? The bins. I can't make them until I actually have the biodomes, which means that I'd have to 
get this repaired, expend all the resources, and if, if we then come to find out we can't use this one slot, well, that's going to suck. Um, I, just, I, I like the position of, of this one better than the other one. Um, the other one, however, let's remove the cap here. See, the other one is just a lot further away. Well, I guess it's right here. Um... But I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't think we can get to it directly. I'm not sure how we would do that. Because you can't put couplers on a biodome. It just has the one entrance. So the downside to using this one is that we have to go outside to get in it. Not that that's a huge deal, but, you know, it's kind of be nice if we didn't have to do that. Or uh, are these lined up? No, these aren't lined up. So I was going to say we could just have a really long hallway and use this one, but that that makes even less sense, really. And they're not lined up anyway, so I don't think we'd, we could do that. So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to take a gamble, and I'm going to go with this one. And, if, you know, if we end up not being able to use this last crop plot, well, you know, that then we just can't use it. We always have the option of fixing those two up later if we want to even grow more crops anyway. So that's what's planned for uh, off-camera stuff. And then when I get all that stuff done, I'll bring you guys back and then we'll do the next thing, which will be getting, uh, well, what we need to do, let's talk about what we need to do, actually. We, we need to get the biodome up, of course, but we also need to get a, ha um, not a habitat, a barracks going. Um, And now that I think about that, uh, we, we're might, we might have to, hmm. I guess if we're going to do a barracks, it's going to make the most sense to have it come out this wall here. Unless... Yeah, see there's... Hmm. Yeah, this rock's going to be a problem if we try and have it come out that side. We can't get rid of this, so that's probably really our only option. That's probably our only option is to have it come out. Oh, shit. This wall here. So if I remove that wall. Oh, man. Oh, we just put a storage locker. Okay, that's not a big deal to take the storage locker down. So, yeah, we're going to put a barracks uh, out here. We'll do that in the next episode. And if all goes well, maybe we can get the biodome uh, going in the next episode, too. Okay? So that is it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.